Subtraction is the dash of addition. What is the relationship between subtraction and addition? Can you fill in this blank? You are right. It can be either opposite or inverse. We know that subtraction is the inverse of addition. What does this mean exactly? To understand this, we must know the properties of an inverse. An inverse enables us to return to the original number on which the calculation was performed. If Ali has 100 rupees and he gives away 50 rupees to Fatma, we write it as 100 minus 50. This means that Ali has 50 rupees. If we want to find the inverse of this subtraction, we will add 50 rupees to the remaining 50, which will again give us 100 rupees. Now, let's see what the inverse of multiplication is. For example, if we have four groups with two pens in each group, we multiply to calculate the total number of pens. This means that 4 multiplied by 2 gives us a total of 8 pens. Now, to return to the original number, we write the larger number first and then divide by the total number of pens in each group. This means 8 divided by 2 results in 4. So, we have 4 groups like we had originally. The numbers involved in a multiplication calculation can also be called a fact family. For example, when we multiply 7 with 4, we get 28. In this, 7, 4 and 28 belong to a fact family. Now, if we want to calculate the inverse of this multiplication, we write the largest number first, which is 28, and then put a division sign. We can either write 7 or 4 after this to calculate the inverse of the multiplication. Let's write 7 first. This results in 4. If we write 4, then this will result in 7. When we write the two division statements for 28, they can be called inverse statements. Let's try to solve some examples. Multiply 4 and 9 and then write down two inverse statements for this calculation. Multiplying 4 and 9 results in 36. Now, 36 is the largest of the fact family and is written first. We divide it by 4, resulting in 9. Then, we divide 36 divided by 9, resulting in 4. The two statements, 36 divided by 4 and 36 divided by 9, are the two inverse statements. Add 2 to both 1 and 4, then multiply them. Also, write inverse statements for this calculation. Adding 2 to 1 and 4 will give us the new numbers 3 and 6. Multiplying these numbers results in 18. First, we divide 18 by 6, resulting in 3. And then we divide 18 by 3, resulting in 6. The two statements, 18 divided by 6 and 18 divided by 3, are the two inverse statements. We learned that division is the inverse of multiplication. We also learned to use fact families to write the inverse of multiplication.